ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಸುನೀತಾ ರಾಣಾ ಅಗರ್ವಾಲ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಡಾಕ್ಟರ್ ಅಗರ್ವಾಲ್ ಹಾಸ್ಪಿಟಲ್ಸ್ ಬ್ಯಾಂಗಲೋ ಐ ಆಮ್ ಎನ್ ಐ ಸರ್ಜನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಜೀನ್ ಥೆರಪಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟೆಮ್ ಸೆಲ್ಸ್ ಟುಡೇ ಇಂಜುರಿ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಐ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಫೈರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ಮೆನಿ ಕಾಸಸ್ ಸಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ವನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆನ್ ಸ್ಪ್ಲಿಂಟರ್ಸ್ ಎಂಟರ್ ಇನ್ ಟು ದಿ ಐ ಆರ್ ವೆನ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಸ್ಮೋಕ್ ಪೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ಸ್ there can be also a blow out so something has just blown into the eye there can be penetration into the eye and depending upon what that injury is we need to take care of it whichever the situation first thing is only wash with tap water if it is a chemical that means if you are thinking there is some acid or alkali involved here then you need to wash for at least 10 15 minutes plain tap water should be poured on the eye so that it is washed if it is a foreign body lying in the eye then the eye has to be rolled in all directions while washing so we take it down like this move it around and then how we used to play with children we evert the lid once you evert the lid there's any foreign body on the upper lid will also come out this way we are able to remove all the foreign bodies which may be loose but if something is impacted into the eye it will not come out like this we will need to go to an eye care practitioner to remove it because it may be impacted on the cornea if there is a blow out that means if the object has been bigger than the socket so that means like a baseball or a cricket ball if any of these has happened then the hemorrhage might be there bleeding might be there if there's a penetration into any of the tissues like one of the shrapnel from the firecracker this produces bleeding bleeding has to be tackled in a little different way we take a cold compress so we take little tissue or whatever you have clean cloth is good enough put it in cold water wash your eye just a little bit and then keep the cold compress on the eye and please go to an eye care practitioner if there is any chemical in the eye please wash the eye for at least 10 15 minutes the chemical takes a little longer reaction and taking it out may take us a little more time whichever be the situation before we go out to play firecrackers we must be ready for emergencies so in this way keep a bucket of water ready keep your first aid kit ready you can for scratches or anything eye injuries please wear some anti reflective coating glass just plain zero power because we are usually doing this in the night so you i cannot ask you to wear sun glasses but you can wear some eye protection please do not wear nylon clothes and tie your hair down